Okay, loops in Go. In Go, every loop is a for loop. The standard for loop will start with the for keyword, then you will initialize a variable. You can use the variable shorthand, then you set your condition, and lastly, you have your increment statement. Unlike in C, you do not use parentheses. And let's go ahead and increment the sum variable. Over in the terminal, let's run. And fix our error. Any or all of the arguments for the for loop are optional. So if we wanted to, we could do this as well. Note that this is essentially a while loop. In fact, Go does not have while loops or go or do while loops. It just has for loops. We can also use a shorthand of leaving out the semicolons and only leaving the condition. And this will give us essentially a while loop. Another for common for loop pattern in Go is using the range keyword to loop over a set, whether it be a slice, an array, a map, or even a string. Using this notation, we can first declare our index, then the actual variable from the object that we want to loop over. And let's go ahead and use print line. Run this in the terminal. And we have printed out the UTF values of hello world characters. Now, if we don't care about the index, we can leave it out using the underscore. And if all we cared about was the index, then we would just leave out the comma, the second variable altogether.